I'm all the way up to London to uh, get my acupuncture done, get my dry needling done. And it's about three degrees. It's been raining. Uh, it's been raining non-stop all day. It literally hasn't stopped. It's coming in sideways as well. <laughs> and uh, it's coronavirus flying, flying everywhere. It's rush hour about to get on the tube. Happy days, Indian Wells can't come fast enough. This is Thomas putting me together after uh, gym and then golf. Nothing to do with tennis at all. All right, um, I just finished the Tennis Channel speciality shoot. I answered a few questions from the fans with Monica that you guys had sent in. And now I'm outside in the cold and the rain, which is exactly what we thought we'd get when we came to Indian Wells this year. Normally, the tennis world would be in the desert today. Instead, tennis paradise is deserted. The BNP Paribas Open will not be held at this time due to a state of emergency in the Coachella Valley because of the coronavirus. So we just got news that Indian Wells has been canceled because of the coronavirus, uh, which uh, didn't really see coming, to be honest. Um, kind of in a bit of shock about it. It's pretty much our biggest tournament on the ATP tour, really. Yeah, I guess it's weird because we're obviously here, practice a couple of days, but, you know, just normal life doesn't feel like, you know, anyone's kind of doing anything different. Don't know what's gonna happen now. Will Miami take place? I think there's more confirmed cases than, uh, than there is here. And also what's gonna happen with the tour now? I mean, obviously a lot more events, especially ones in Europe where, um, there's a lot kicking off in those countries with regards to coronavirus, a lot of kind of sanctions being put in place. Um, yeah, I mean, you could potentially be looking at not having a tour for the next like four to six months until this kind of gets under, under control, I guess. All right, I'm in the lockers at Indian Wells. Um, it's a bit em empty in here just now, but a lot of guys out practicing. It's kind of weird, kind of, it's like 150 players here, it feels like, and obviously no tournament, no fans. It's almost like everyone's just come here to do a, to do a pre-season. Everyone's sort of waiting to hear on Miami what's gonna happen there. Um, I think quite a few players are gonna end up going to Phoenix, which will become the world's strongest challenger event, I would have thought. Um, so yeah, I think my plan is just kind of wait around here another two or three days, head to Phoenix, um, compete there, wait to see what happens with Miami, and then uh, hopefully go to Miami and play, and if not, then, uh, then get out of here, I think. Get out of Dodge. We are uh, sitting in the car park of uh, some shopping mall in Palm Desert, just outside uh, Indian Wells, and there's a huge thunderstorm going on. We got nothing to do, we're just killing time until the flight in about three hours. And uh, you can see, but perfect way to end a perfect trip, isn't it? 